Salute to you all. The brave never fall. This topic today, I actually recorded two different versions of this one. And this is the second version. And I knew that I probably would have to do that because certain things that we talk about on this channel elicit responses from me that brings up really good memories and really bad memories, really good experiences, really bad experiences. Not everything is going to be easy to talk about on my end because I have to process my thoughts, but I don't want to write everything down and be staring at notes and sound robotic at the same time. I try to speak from the heart and the earlier version that I recorded of this actually sounded like I was a little angry and I wasn't. It just came off that way because of the subject matter. So I decided to give it another take. And this is the version that I think will probably be uploaded. So if you listen to this, this was the better take of the two. I believe truly in my heart that people have the opportunity every single day to wake up and make the most of each day through good deeds, through helping people, through acknowledging that life is meaningful and there's purpose to be explored in any uh, anybody's life. It doesn't matter where you come from. Everybody has a purpose. It doesn't matter. Not everyone knows their purpose. Some people don't care to know their purpose. Some people have multiple purposes and that may be or just coalesced into one thing. But I find myself reflecting on this a lot about people because they're people are complex. And that was my issue with the first version of this is that I, I focused a lot on the negative sides of this. And then I, as I listened back to it, I remember thinking to myself, well, it's not so cookie cutter. You can think about it that way. You can talk about it that way. But this is not a cookie cutter thing. Talking about the good in people, the fake in people, and the real in people is is a very complex thing. Because everybody has their own story to tell. Everybody has their own purpose. Everybody has their own meaning in life. And it's hard to dissect what someone's intentions are, whether they be true, fake, or otherwise. It's hard to dissect somebody's intentions if you don't understand every single thing they've been through in their life. And in, in some cases, and in certain circumstances, it is unfair to judge these people uh, and place them into any category, which is what brought me to this recording. I was talking to a good friend of mine, somebody who's very special to me, and and she was telling me, we were talking about uh, good people and fake people and real people, and it's just something we bring up a lot and we talk about a lot. And I had time to reflect on it. I, I try to reflect on everything that if I think about something more than once, I need to meditate on it and, and reflect on it and think about why I'm thinking about it. And I came to the, to the conclusion, can you ultimately tell if somebody is a good person, a fake person, or that they're being real, or, you know, because this life, this world is full of all kind of malevolence and evil and things that we can't really quantify in our brains because society has placed quote unquote normal on certain things that human beings are supposed to do, not necessarily what we should do or we could do or we would do. It's just, you're supposed to do this. You're supposed to do that. This means you did that. And that means you're good type of deal. They don't account for malevolence and, and people I think in their hearts don't really understand evil to a certain degree and what makes someone want to do bad things and disguise it by doing things that appear to be good. When you're being a fake person, and I think what was lacking in the last recording is that I failed to mention that everybody has experienced being good, being fake and being real. We've all experienced it because we've all done it. If you ever smiled at somebody and then you didn't keep that smile for more than a second. And the smile was dropping basically before you even walked past someone. That's would somebody classify that if, if you were just looked at in the vacuum, would you classify that as a fake gesture? You didn't mean the smile. You didn't keep it. You had no emotion behind it. No thought behind it. It was just something that you physically reacted to. Just like if you put your hand on a fire, you would draw back. And a lot of people's lives, you're just accustomed to smiling at people when you see them. 
especially if you know them, if you see them on a regular basis, you're going to smile more often than not to a person that you are, that you see often. Now, what's funny about that is that that often happens with people we don't know very well. Uh, you don't necessarily smile at somebody that you walk past in your house every single time you walk past them, but you do it at work. You can walk past the same person 20 times that day and you'll smile every single time to them to the point where it starts to get awkward and you start staring at your feet when you walk past them or you pretend you're looking at your phone or you're, you've got to tie your shoelace, anything, because you've, you're getting tired of the act because it's not genuine. When there's a genuine act, you don't get tired of doing it. So if I walk past somebody and I genuinely like you, I'm going to smile and it's effortlessly. I mean it and I want you to see it. And I don't mind that we've done it 10 times a day that I've walked past you and said, smile and said hello. I'm that type of person. But I also know the times where there's people walking past me and they're trying to fake it and I don't do that. And that's what got me really thinking about the subject because that's what separates people here. I don't like that fake feeling of forcing something. If I don't feel like smiling at you, I just won't. Period. I'll nod to you. I'll make eye contact with you, but I won't smile at you. Unless you... I, I mean it. It doesn't mean... I'm a bad person. In my opinion, it means you're getting a genuine, honest reaction out of me. There's a reason why I'm not smiling at you. It doesn't mean it's bad. I just may not know you that very well. I may know something about you that you don't think I know about you. Something you've said about me. There there might be a ton of reasons why I don't smile at you. And there may be a ton of reasons why I may frown at you when I walk past. I mean, you can... You can... Throw any emotion or gesture into that same scenario. The point is, how do you know when somebody's being genuine or not? Because people do the same thing. There are people who will pretend to be mad at you and they really aren't mad at you. So it, it, it's all over the place. I tend to try to figure it out like this. If you don't know someone, if you're just someone out on the street who walks past you and you don't know this person, you smile at them. I think in some ways that's more genuine than the person you see every day that you smile at 10 times and don't mean it because the person you don't know doesn't know you. You don't owe them anything. They're not expecting you to smile at them, but you do it anyway. I find myself doing that. I tend to smile at people I don't even know far more than I do to people that I do know. If I'm just a little bit of, you know, of acquaintance or something like that, because If there's no connection there and there's no reason for me to smile at you all the time, that's it. I I believe I smile at everyone the very first time I meet them. The very first time I say hello to you, I always say smile because I think that's I think meeting someone for the first time is always a pleasant experience because you don't know these people. You don't the emotion doesn't get thrown into the mix until after you meet these people. If they're going to be in your lives long term. Of course, if they're just in passing, who really it's just a it's just a gesture that we do as human beings and vice versa you might you might frown at somebody you might give somebody a curious look i mean insert anything but i'm just sticking with the smile because that's one of the things that branches off into the to the the good area the fake and the real a real person is probably a little more inconsistent with stuff like that because they don't have time to worry about whether or not you care if you get that smile I feel like the fake people are the ones that constantly, every single time, no matter what, they smile. It doesn't matter what mood they're in. You could clearly have seen earlier today, earlier that day, they have been in a bad mood, but they'll flash that fake smile. And you can tell it's fake. And it's one of those things that I'm, I, I struggle with that because I avoid people like that. I just don't like that dynamic. And I'm not talking about people that you know very well like um like at home if you're at home obviously that's why this is so interesting because once you get home that smile turns into something completely different and it means something completely different to a family member but you can flash that same smile to somebody that you work with you see two times a day and it means something completely different but it's the exact same smile so it really is something you can't see on the outside the only person knows who, if that is genuine or not, is the person who's flashed in the smile. And I, again, I'm just using the smile as an example. Insert frown, insert uh, body language, uh, eye rolling, uh, jaw dry, whatever. 
you don't know the intent behind it because you have to get inside of the person's head for them to explain to you what's going on in their heart and in their soul and their body of why that is, which is why separating the fake from the good and the real can be extremely difficult, especially if you don't know these people. Now, I always say to people, there are ways you can test it. If somebody is consistent with things, I always felt like they were a little more real with it, because even if it's a, a bad gesture, if somebody consistently frowns at you, that's just who they are. They're, they're actually being real with you. They're letting you know, I just don't like people. The ones that are inconsistent, one day they smile at you, same place, same time. The next day, they act like you don't exist. Those are the fake people. They're just doing whatever. They're random. It's it's There's no connection there because there's nothing to build upon because they're, one day you exist, the next day you don't. And then you have the good people who kind of do both in certain degrees. But I always felt like good people, they're a little more open with it. And what I mean by that is this. If somebody does something good, it, the door can swing both ways. Somebody could do something good, but that act can be backed with ill intent, meaning they're doing something good because they're planting a seed to get something in return later. So was that act really good or was that act a fake act because they did it with an agenda? But at the same time, let's say you wanted to buy your wife or your husband something, a, a gift, in a certain way, you, you're wanting something back and you want them to appreciate it. You're getting something in return from that as well. So it's always a give and take, isn't it? So how do we separate these things? That's when things get blurred <laughs> because you, can, you can't look at it like that. And it, it ultimately comes down to this. You really can't tell. If somebody wants to fool you, they pretty much can. Because unless you hook them up to a machine and try to figure out through all the biomechanics that a human being is made up with, how are you going to figure out what this person is really up to when they do something? You can't. You have to trust one way or the other. You have to trust your intuition about a person and you go from there. You have to decide for yourself, is this person being fake with me? Because that person may be doing the same thing with you, but being completely genuine with their smile with the next person is walking right behind you. Fake with you, real with the person behind you. You see how that works? Which is why I had to redo this recording, because it's a, it's a much more complex issue than just... There, there is no black and white here. There's black and white and gray and, and, and a rainbow flying over the top of it. It's, it's all messed up. It's really, really hard to try to figure out people on that level when it comes to uh, intent, which is why, again, trust is so important. Believing in people is so important, and which is why being failed by these people hurts so bad, because you do have to put a lot of trust into someone, and that betrayal of your trust when somebody knows they're doing something but ultimately are, are uh, malevolent in their heart can be very evil. You start to think about how many more people out there are doing the exact same thing? You start to wonder, am I doing something to make this energy come towards me, make this person do this to me? And that's another interesting thing. How often does this happen to you in different environments? Are people at home doing this same type of quote unquote fakeness with you or realness with you than at the workplace, at school, at church, at the gym? How consistent is it across the board that these behaviors are being towards you? Because then you can start looking at yourself and start saying, maybe it's something I'm doing wrong or maybe it's something I'm doing right. For example, me, I don't feel like a lot of people are being fake with me because I have a, I try to be very genuine and real and there's no need for someone to smile at me because I, I probably am not going to smile back at you unless I really feel some type of connection with you or there's some reason, um, a story behind something. We had a moment and every time I see you now, it's like, hey, what's up? Um, I don't really, even if I have a bad day, I, I don't force myself to smile at somebody. Even if I'm having a bad day, if I see somebody and they're like, hey, I still smile and say what's up to them because I just remember our connection. I, I'm, I just vibe with people like that. I don't ever get so down where I can't have 
uh, enough um, in me to still be a real person to people. And and I've noticed that, and that's one quality about myself that I, I've always admired about myself is that no matter what my mood is, I still treat people with respect and I don't force anything. Nothing's forced. I do everything. I try to do everything very natural and real and be consistent with it. So I'm not going to, if I've never smiled at you before and I've worked with you for 10 years, I'm not just going to randomly out of nowhere, just smile at you. I just don't do stuff like that. And I don't even think about it. It's just something that just happens. There's a reason why we haven't smiled all that time. We obviously don't vibe on that level. So why would I pick one random day to just be like, hey, no, is anything wrong with it? No, it's not. And that's where the good people come in. I guess they do that stuff. I, I um, Real doesn't necessarily mean good in a lot of cases. I'm not saying I'm good for that. You know, there, maybe I should do that more. Maybe I should just say, you know what, I'm going to smile at this person today, even though I've never, never smiled at them before or whatever. I just find it hard for myself to do that because subconsciously I just I'm not in that space. I'm very consistent. If I don't have a connection with people, it's it very, it's very hard for me to take on because I'm already doing that to begin with. I'm an empath. So I'm already taking in everyone's energy. So I, I've learned to kind of uh, just lessen some of those deeper connections with people and uh, focus on the ones that benefit me the most, that brings the most value to my life. And and or helping somebody. So if I got to take on some negative energy for temporarily to help somebody, I, I'm more than willing to do that. But these aren't choices I'm making consciously. These are choices I'm making subconsciously. I can't control them. This is just who I am. And again, that brings us back to the fake, the good, and the real. A lot of times these people, the fake people, they're just being themselves. That's normal to them. Same with the good people. They're just, they're a little bit of both. They're in that gray area. Then you have the real people who are just like, hey, I'm just going to do it like this. Very consistent. No matter what, it is what it is. But it's just something to think about. There are no answers here. <laughs> this is a topic that that kind of goes nowhere because ultimately it's a, it's a concept that has to deal with each individual, their experiences, and their choices because there are a lot of choices made here. You know, it, and there's really no way to quantify or, or categorize it really there's just so many variables in it that ultimately it just comes back to each individual and trusting what you want to trust believing what you want to believe and keeping people around you that hopefully are being uh, uh as genuine as possible in their fakeness genuine in their goodness and genuine in their realness if nobody has told you this today i love you you deserve to hear that salute to you all the brave never fall.